In case you missed it, friends, thanks to Princess Moon's Youth Glow 3000, which turned out to be a time machine, Ms. Mystery has been bouncing through history. She explored the birth of Hollywood in 1910, witnessed the Boston Tea Party, and discovered the real story behind Paul Revere's ride, including how Sybil Luddington, a teenage girl, may have done even more to help the revolution. Now, where do we think she is, friends? Any guesses? No, I don't think it's a 1950s poetry reading. Whoever randomly said that. Hmm. Ms. Mystery, welcome to the Cretaceous period, about 66 million years ago, the last days of the dinosaurs. On this day, a giant rock from outer space six miles across, called an asteroid, will fall to Earth and slam into Mexico. The asteroid will throw up so much dust that it blocks out the sun, cooling the Earth and wiping out the dinosaurs. Ms. Mystery, we may want to find a portal and get out of here for that reason. Oh, and for that reason too. In the nick of time, here's a call from the kids back at home base. Well, the kids and their new pal, Abraham Lincoln. Miss Mystery, we're here with Abraham Lincoln. We're figuring this out. <laughs> portal, please. I'll get you a portal right now. Yeah, but you live with the now. Got it. Thanks. Fast forward 66 million years. Welcome to the early 1800s, when dinosaurs were born as far as humans knew. That's William Buckland, the guy who officially named the first dinosaur Megalosaurus, which means great lizard in Greek. Think about it. Before this time period, just 200 years ago, humans didn't know about dinosaurs. At first, when these fossils were discovered, they were thought to be from an ancient elephant or even a species of giants. And even when they realized it was something newly discovered from the distant past, it took some time before they got it right. Early scientists like William here, for example, thought the Megalosaurus walked on all fours. And when the first likeness of it was created in 1854 at the Crystal Palace Park, they built it like that. It was only later in the century that they realized it walked on two legs, not four. It's a reminder that our understanding of history, of everything that has come before us, is a constantly evolving process. Case in point, Ms. Mystery, can you do me a favor and hop in that portal right there? We're still in the early 1800s. We've just hopped over to the county of Dorset in southwest England, and that's Mary Anning, one of the greatest fossil hunters in history. Mary started collecting fossils when she was just a kid, exploring the rocky cliffs of Lyme Regis with her brother, Joseph. She was self-taught and had to sell fossils to help support her family. But even as a kid, she was making huge discoveries. Long before most scientists understood what dinosaurs even were, she didn't just find fossils. As she got older, she studied them, sketched them, and figured out what they meant. She discovered some of the first complete fossils of prehistoric creatures, like the ichthyosaur and plesiosaur. Hmm, wow. Mary, if you've done so much for history, why have most people never heard of you? Thanks for asking, Miss Mystery. The reason is because, well, I was poor, self-educated, and a woman. Because of all these reasons, I was not allowed to join scientific societies in my time. So despite everything I discovered and studied in my lifetime, I didn't get credit for it, at least at the time. It's nice though that since then, some people have made an effort to recognize my contributions. What I'm learning is that there's a lot of unrecognized heroes in history, from the birth of Hollywood, to the birth of the United States of America, to the discovery of dinosaurs. That's wild. Thanks for all you've done. Seriously. Thanks, Miss Mystery. I really do appreciate it, and I love your show. 
Well said, Ms. Mystery. Oh, and it looks like the kids are calling back in. Miss Mystery, Abraham Lincoln figured out how to fix the time machine. Good job, Abraham Lincoln. He's going home, but we're gonna bring you home. Let's hope this works. Woohoo! I'd say it's time for a reunion dance party. It's my lucky day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.